And welcome back to House Calls. I'm Martin Foss, and joining us once again, Dr. Patrick Hagan, our expert in the field of ear, nose, throat, and sinus problems. Now, Doc, we talked last week about the telescope when you put it in the sinuses that it can get you up to the sinuses, but it can't get you in the sinuses. Exactly. So where do we go from there? Well, how do you test the rest of it? Well, the telescope is to look inside of the nasal cavity and the entrance to the sinuses, but then we use CAT scans, which people have heard of. A CAT scan can actually put you inside any of the sinuses. In fact, it can put you inside of the brain. It can scan the body, but specifically, we get scans for the sinuses. And whenever you're reading CAT scans, you need to know that white is bone, black is the air that surrounds us in space, and gray is tissue like the brain and the eyes. Now, inside the sinuses, all you would like to see is black air surrounded by white bone, and if there's any gray, then that's got to be pus, polyps, cysts, or scar tissue. So it's not about just using the instruments, but you gotta know what you're looking at. Absolutely, and um, the radiologists do a good job of reading CAT scans, however, we read them so often that I only have to be an expert on CAT scans from here to here, versus someone that has to be experts on the entire body. All right. So that's why we're very good at reading them also. Very interesting. Once again, Dr. Patrick Hagan, our expert in ear, nose, throat, and sinus. And we'll see you again tomorrow night on House Call.